Officer T. Martin is back on the job. Had a nice little break there. Took a couple of days off. You know, tanned the cheeks a little bit down the Bahamas. Posted some cruise vlogs. If you guys haven't seen them, I'll link them in the description. But uh, we're back. I'm ready to uh, to really kind of take control of the rampant crime in this city. And uh, you, I've got my eyes on you. In fact, if you don't drop a like on this video right now, I might have to detain you. And you don't want to be detained. All right, here we go. So we are going to be starting up a new shift in Alcumby. I don't believe we've used this neighborhood before. I think we may have driven around it when we had selected the uh, historic downtown. But um, we haven't actually started a shift here. You guys can see we just unlocked it. And then we're actually, we're getting close to some exciting stuff here. We've got crime scenes and major accidents. We've also got traffic stops eventually. And then I believe here in about three days, we're actually gonna have a new update for this game, which is, uh, it's gonna bring background checks. So, you know, when we, you know, bring somebody aside, start talking to them, pull them over, whatever else. Okay, maybe we have we have started from here before, but we're, we're gonna be okay. It's, it's gonna be fine. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. We're gonna put our headlights on, even though it's daytime, still good to, uh, you know, Show people what's up, throw our blinker on, and here we go. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be able to run background checks on them. Ooh, I see some people up on the thing. Hold on, let me just let me just pull over real quick. I'm going to go ahead and hop out of the, the whip. And let's go ahead and go give these guys some uh, some tickets. But um, we're going to be able to check to see if they've gotten into any trouble in the past and, and, you know, potentially arrest them, look for warrants, stuff like that. So we're going to say position alignment. You're on the sidewalk. So is the guy behind you. The guy behind him might potentially be too far out into the street. And then we've also got to check on the... Um uh, the... Oh, nope, 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 nope. It's been a minute since I played, so I forgot where the location of the certain things are. So we're going to go parking ticket alignment on sidewalk. My bad. I had to check this. No parking 8 to 12 noon on Monday. Now this one, I'm going to let that one let that one go. I'm going to I'm gonna try to be nice. I'm going to try not to be too crazy. I'm not going to, you know, ruin the trust of the public here. We, we definitely want to be nice and, and, and try to, you know, do the right thing. So... Here we go. We're going to wait at the stoplight and uh, we're just going to go riding around and getting it. Going to see what kind of trouble we can get into and uh, hopefully have a good day. We're not starting off that hot by giving an improper ticket. There needs to be a way to, to you know, stop your action. He's going right on red. It's okay. Oh, Jay Walker. Let me just... Let me just get out of the car and give you a ticket right here. Sorry to hold up traffic for a jaywalker, but hey, I, I don't I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and issue you a violation for jaywalking. You know what? I'm back from, from I'm you know, vacation. For I ain't playing no games. Everybody's getting tickets out here. My lawyer will take care of it. Mm-hmm. He looks really sad. Well, don't jaywalk then. You're a danger to yourself and the, the vehicles around you. Okay, now we missed the entire traffic light. Come on, man. You know these people behind us are furious. I'd be so upset if a cop just hopped out of the car and, and did that. Okay, we're gonna be fine. It's it's gonna be all right. So as it turns out, I think we actually want to. I think we want to take a right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna sneak in here. All right, y'all. Any day now. Any day now. Okay, we're gonna take him around the outside. Another traffic light here. Not off to the most exciting start of all time, but. That's okay, just another casual day in the neighborhood. Was that an accident back there? I think he's just stopped because we cut him off. It's fine. We're a cop. We don't actually have to listen to the traffic laws. Just riding around town looking for any kind of debauchery. I'm gonna I'm gonna bang a right here. Let's see what we've got going on. Well, riding around town looking for any sort of debauchery, waiting for any sort of a call we got she's throwing her hands up at the bus stop she's pretty upset about something not sure what okay go ahead and wait here we got a car up on that uh-oh minor accident all right i guess we could accept that that's going to be back behind us we're gonna have to flip a yui let me go ahead and go take care of this other car though give me a second Go ahead and hop out here. So this is not a proper parking a ticket. I think I'm just going to straight up call the, the tow truck. Beautiful. Hop back in. Probably could start to throw on our lights when we do stuff like that. I feel like throwing our lights on and then hopping out of the car is going to make a bit more sense. See, like right here. Oop, that's the siren. My bad. Nope, not that. Lights are number one. Okay, sorry again. Like I said, I've, I've been been on vacation. This guy's got a, uh, an expired parking meter here. So we're going to make sure we uh, we take care of that. 
give the ticket for the expired meter. Back in the car, lights off, and off we go. All right, let's go see what's up with this accident. I'm sure we aren't speeding. Looks like it's gonna be on the left up here. Green light, there we go. Now we're starting to hit our form, starting to get our traffic lights and stuff like that. Gonna head over this way. I mean, if we're responding to an accident, can we just throw our lights on and go right through the thing? I don't, I don't think so, since it's minor. We are running out of time, though, so I'm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm, oh, it turned green anyway. Okay, we're good to go. Turn our lights off, we're good. Here we go. Now don't speed, Trev, shoot. All right, I'm throwing the lights on, I'm just going for it. Ooh, looks like we caught the light anyway. Oh, no, we didn't. Ignored the red light twice. Okay, well, I'm... I'm not too worried about it. We're running out of time to be able to respond to this, so I want to make sure I take care of the people. I gotta do it. <laughs> Just ignoring red lights all over the place. Looks like I found a shortcut. Um, excuse me, please. <laughs> Just ran into a pedestrian. Just, Just bring this through here. Just bring this through here. Yep, nice art installation. Sorry about the grass. Oh, Let's be honest, it was kind of a boring day anyway, so I had to spice it up. Let's go back to the evening time, man. So we, we basically, we just need to, to get some XP here. We need to level up. We want to, you know, not lose any shift points or anything like we, we are conduct points like we had started to there with all of our red light running. But um, we, we just need to, to basically unlock the next level of things. We're going to try evening time here. I'm thinking this will be kind of fun. We might get some uh, some nasties out at night. You know what I mean? So we'll we'll see what happens. Go ahead and throw our headlights on. Let's head out of here and let's go see what we can find. We've already got a guy improperly parked on the side of the street. Going to throw my, uh, my lights on here. And let's go ahead and give you a ticket for... Uh, direction a little bit off the curb but i think i think you're good i'm only gonna hit you with one thing today here we go so yeah i mean your boy we just we, we need to, to it's kind of like the end of the month situation you know when like police are out give it out way more speeding tickets and stuff like that that's essentially where we're at we we just we want to give as many tickets issue as many citations take care of as much as we, we possibly can here just to, to be able to level up like i said we've got some exciting stuff coming up traffic stops and major accidents and background checks and all kinds of stuff looks like we do have an accident right here Ooh, is this a three car pile up hold on a second let me go ahead and turn our lights on that is one thing we weren't really doing a ton of before i don't think this taxi's involved i think it's just just these two here okay um well i'm gonna get my camera out let's equip the camera looks like we've got a pretty traditional rear ending situation here so i'm just gonna get some photos first Get some photos of that. Please don't run me over. Get some photos of this. Get through here. See if we've got any damage on this side. Broken windows. Scratched up doors. Go ahead and get that there. Seems like... Oh, no. We got a little, little thing there. Trying to be impossibly exact with this. Looks like we're good to go. All right. How you doing, sir? Let me, um... Let me see what's going on. I'm still recovering from crash my mind is blank mine is blank all right well let me go ahead and check your id and insurance please go ahead and see that id real quick appreciate you thank you for for helping us out joseph walker 8621 looks like he's good to go there um mail 64 expiration date two door OUGL 66 expiration 10 to 2020 he's good there Okay, all all checks out. Let me go ahead and give that back to you. You have red eyes. Well, in that case, let me uh, give you a little testy test real quick. Kind of interesting. You've been crying, or you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to to you know stay right here for a minute. I guess we could do an alcohol test as well. Tech. Uh, we want to wait and give him the report, right? Zero BAC. So, he, I mean, he's he's definitely he's definitely going in. I'm just going to have you stay right here, please. Let me talk to old Miss here. You have an... Okay. I look forward to the update where they don't always say, I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I'd love it if they were, like, arguing and stuff, and you, like, have to get to the bottom of it. Proof of insurance, please. Report's extensive. Go, Sweet. Okay. Let me see what we've got going on here. So, this is Leah Foster. Looks like her thing is, is well good. Um, four door 7HAT7. 
Expiration date 10, 26, 27. Yeah, she's, she's, she's good to go. Um, let me go ahead and give that back. I, I mean, technically, is it her fault if she rear-ended him? But like, I, um, I'm going to give her an accident, accident report. report. Okay. Thank you, officer. And I'm going to let, I'm going to let you go. You're good to go. Drive safe and have a nice day. You're going to have to speak with your insurance, but, um, I'm, I'm going to let you go. As for you, my this friend, here's your accident, accident report. report. Okay. Thank you, officer. Unfortunately, you got a failing grade because you are under the influence. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have to, to handcuff you for, um, uh, DUI I have to and... arrest you for driving under the influence of narcotics. Please move on to the sidewalk. Oh, come on. Sorry about your luck, you man. Must be kidding me. Yep. Had to do it. So, while he heads over there, we're going to go ahead and search the vehicle. Both sides. Then we're also going to search him. Then we're going to pack them up and, and ship them off, call the tow truck, do everything. Bus ticket and a pocket watch. Can we search the trunk? Gotta search like every tire, gotta search the floorboards, snacks and a switchblade. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. At least he's not some big wig dealer or hustler or anything like that. Handgun and a city guide, interesting. Did he have a, a gun permit? Can we check the hood? We can't. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and call a, a tow truck. Do a full search on this guy. I'm not sure if he had a gun permit or not. I don't I don't remember. That is one thing we always have to remember to check. Looks like he's got switchblade, gums, napkin, and and that's that's it. Okay. We're going to call the arrest there. transport. Into custody. Sorry about your luck, kid. You'll, you'll bounce back from this. We've all made mistakes in our past. I improperly tased a lady in the last episode, so we I've, I've been there, I feel ya. You know, arrested people when I shouldn't have. You know, maybe planted a couple drugs here, there. <laughs> you, you know, you, you'll, you'll, you'll make it back from this. We got quite the situation happening here, so, uh, okay, tow trucks. Uh, oh, wow, okay, beautiful, well. There goes, I mean, it's a nice car. I, I like the car, that's for sure. What in the world is going on? You coming to pick him up? You're not gonna pick him up. O okay. All right, bro, so I, I gotta go. I, I've, I've got a lot going on today. Um, uh, you, you just chill there. Eventually, they're gonna come pick you up, I think. So just, uh, you know, keep keep it loose, homie. Keep, keep it hanging. There's no chance they actually expect me to sit there and wait for that thing to come back, did they? Uh-oh, let's see our accident report here. Looks like we did it pretty much perfectly the only question i had was if we should have given a ticket for her to her for running into the back of him if he's out of the influence i'm assuming that kind of waves all of her liability but i'm not 100 percent sure it looks like we've got something happening here somebody looks like they're way no it looked like the, the blue car was way out into the street maybe it's just a big car okay Keeping an eye out here. Don't see anything too crazy. All right. Oh, this orange truck is is pretty far out. I'm not pulling you over. You're good. He probably thinks we were pulling him over. You're 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 free to go. Don't you worry about it. Sorry, I'm just kind of having fun. Yeah, you're good. Got to give this guy a ticket. He's expired and he's he's way out there. I think we do have to be careful about um, using our lights and stuff. Like when we're pulling people over, we want to use the blip where it's like boop boop. And it does like one flash the lights and then that tells people to pull over uh, back in the car here I feel like using the lights when you when you pull over like that uh, find out how fast a car is driving find p Potential speeders. How do we actually use the pacing? I think we just drive drive behind them uh, I feel like turning the lights on when we're gonna stop in the middle of the street like that is, is actually pretty important So like I'm gonna turn the lights on here just so people notice me We're gonna get out. I'm gonna go give a, a tow truck call to this car right here but then I'm also worried that it's just because it's like a video game. You know what I mean? Like, I guess in real life it would happen too. People would would be like, "Oh, he's got his lights on." Ooh, does he have a legal tint? Hold on a second. You stop there. You you got you got purple tint, dude. That that is not that is not cool with me. You just go ahead and pull over. Still don't really have the pull over options done. Nope, 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 nope. You aren't gonna be able to run away from me. I think it's because he wasn't moving. Signal they're looking for a parking spot. So we're gonna leave our lights on and everything here. Is that where they're stopping? I don't know if that's where they're stopping. They always freaking do this, dude. It drives me absolutely crazy. Was able to find a proper parking spot. Okay, so we're gonna leave the lights on. We're gonna leave everything on. We're driving too fast. We were going like eight miles an hour. I'm literally gonna, gonna block him in here. This is our first ever actual traffic stop. Here we go. Let me talk to you. I'm going to have to go ahead and detain the driver. Um, 
Detain the car. Traffic violation was committed. Background checks, we can't do that yet. Detain driving. Prevent them from driving away. I'm thinking we would have detained the car? I detained under glow lights. Of your cars under glow lights. I, I thought I turned them off. He's avoiding eye contact. Interesting. ID Let me see your ID and insurance, please. insurance, please. So this is our first ever actual traffic stop. It finally worked. Okay, he seems pretty, pretty, you know, quick to, to react. He's got his window down. He's got his hands on 10 and 2. That's good. So this is Jack Brown. He does not have a gun permit. Remember, we got to keep checking for that. Looks like he is, uh, he's good to go on his expiration date. Born in 98. Good to go there. Jack Brown. That matches up. Pickup truck 8AD375. Huh. Just hang out here for a second. 880375. So that matches. I don't know. Maybe he's just nervous. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to issue a violation for the underglow lights. That will cost you about two hundred dollars. Like I said, I'm not such a small infraction. You getting mouthy with me, boy? Give me a second. Let me let me do you a once over real quick. Looking for any broken tail lights, looking for any reason to potentially get you even harder. Now, I think for any traffic stop, we do have the right, I think we can ask him to exit and then we can like give him drug tests and stuff, but I think we're gonna let him go. I, he hasn't given us any other it's reason fine. apart from he's not nice. making eye contact. He's probably nervous. Everybody gets nervous. Okay, nicely done. Might've been able to finagle a few more points out of that, but I'm not out here to ruin people's days. I am here to, to earn my XP and do my thing, but I'm not out here to ruin people's lives. So if you had anything on you, sir, I mean, you just, you got lucky, consider it your lucky day and uh, just don't do it again. Got about a quarter of our shift left here. Just gonna cruise around. We've got our lights on. Let me go ahead and turn those off. Don't wanna be that cop that just rolls around with his lights on all slow, looking, looking for trouble. I mean, we are looking for trouble, but don't want to be that intimidating. Also, don't want people to know we're coming. I'm going to bang a right right here, I think. Technically not supposed to cross a crosswalk like that when there's a pedestrian on it, but we're okay. Let me see if we can find anything else. I was hoping for some more call-outs. Well, I'm going to go get this guy over here. This is an easy 10 points. I've got a car here that needs towing. Why did we just lose five points there? I was just getting ready to say this was going to be the perfect episode because we had lost two conduct points from speeding going eight miles an hour. It doesn't make any sense. But now we've lost five from calling a tow truck. That We literally always do it. We always call tow trucks on cars that are up on the, the street like that. And for whatever reason, that one was allowed to be there. I don't get it. We just go ahead and uh, hold up all the traffic on this side of the street to give this guy one measly little citation. No big deal here. Looks like his meter is I've good, but he... Oh, oh. That needs towing. Can you send a record of my current location? Dude, I hate that. I hate that you can't back out. It, 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 it's so easy to press the wrong button. Well, that guy's getting towed for parking the wrong way. Oh, well. This guy... Ugh. Now we're driving too fast. Okay. It, things... We always, like, once it starts to go kind of bad, I just start freaking out and, and it's going to be fine, Trev. You guys see any no right on red signs? You guys think we can turn right here? I'm going to turn my blinker on. And we're going to try going right on red. Okay. Keeping an eye on all these dirty little civilians. You never know what somebody's up to. Like, why, why is that gray car up there in the middle. Why is he so far back off the line? Why is he being so careful? Is he up to something naughty? You never know. Looking for anyone not using their turn signals. Underglow lights. Driving too fast. It's like everybody's behaving today though. Ooh, find the wanted person and the shift is over. Okay. So we're going to be looking in Alcombe. Let me see where we are at currently. Let me pull up the map. So we got to get all the way over there. Where are we? We are right there. So we, we just took a left here, I believe. We're going to want to take a right. And then the second right, we're going to be looking for a girl in a purple headband with crazy hair. She's armed in a gray and black suit. Ivy Davis. Let's respond as quickly as possible. Here we go. We're going to go find her. Sirens for no reason. Aren't we on a... Uh Shoot, okay. Well, I, I don't care. We're, we're responding to the call. We're going to go find her. I guess we still have to respond. Nah, I'm, I'm going for it. Who cares? We've already lost so many points. We don't even get skipping a red light there. Maybe because we were in the opposite uh, the opposite lane. Let's test it. Did we just find a life hack? Start looking for the suspect. 
We found a life hack. If you don't drive on that side of the street, you can go around. Okay. Let me see. Ooh, we've got an improper parking job right there. I think, shoot, I think she's going to be back in this area. She's going to be back in, in there. Let me give this ticket real quick. Wrong direction on the street. We got somebody up there on the, uh, the, the, the what's it called? But obviously we want to get to the wanted person. I just, I mean, we've, we've lost a few points here. So we want to make sure we're, we're getting as many back as possible. Want to make sure that we don't waste too much time though. Cause technically our shift is over. So we want to make sure we have time to actually find her. Pull out in front of these guys. Sorry about it. Okay. So life, life hack, right? If you dodge traffic going the opposite direction, as long as you don't speed, it's better than running a red light. Good to know. We want to take a right here. Can't turn right on red in this game, but you can go around that way. Beautiful. She's going to be in gray and black. She's got some frizzy. Is that her? Go ahead and put my lights on. Excuse me, miss. Everybody immediately stand still. How you doing? I Ivy Davis. Let me talk to you real quick. Let me see your ID. She's got glasses on. Here's my ID. Is this her? Brooklyn Rogers looks exactly like Ivy Davis. Does she potentially have a fake ID though? Do you guys think she could have a fake ID? Is that possible in this game? I mean, she matches the description. That's this is her. I'm gonna detain you for matching a wanted description. You've got the wrong person. And then I'm I'm gonna have to frisk you. She's got a fidget spinner. <laughs> Dang it! Um, I'm gonna have to go for a full search, and I'm probably gonna be fired for this. But I, I I'm worried you have a fake ID. Unless there's two of you walking around in the exact same outfit with the exact same headband on. Your glasses aren't fooling me. Shoot, she's got a letter, a yo-yo, and a fidget spinner. Have a nice day. Goodbye. We lost 20 CP for that. Okay. So maybe there maybe there aren't fake IDs in this game. There's two of them. There are two of them. Let me see your ID. Here you go, officer. I thought she had a fake ID and like some fake glasses on. If she's armed and stuff, you don't know what kind of Ivy Davis. Well, I'll be damned. All right. She does not have a gun permit. I'm going to go ahead and give this back. She has dilated pupils. Okay. I'm going to have to detain you. I'm going to have to detain you for matching the description of a wanted person. I can't believe we lost 20 CP for that, dude. Were you? I don't know if I believe you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to handcuff you for... Actually, we can't do that yet. We're going to go ahead and search you. I'm going to do a full search. On your way to turn yourself in for what? What'd you do? You murder somebody? Why do you have a weapon on you? Handgun, switchblade, bus tickets, snacks, and dice. You out there gambling, doing your thing, illegal possession of a weapon, carrying a gun without a permit. For carrying a gun without a valid gun permit. Please, no. I'm going to go ahead and call an arrest transport then. Probably could have tested her for some drugs and stuff, but um, you are you had a literal doppelganger with you. Now we got we got Ivy in, in a red dress. What is this? Did she pull off like a bank robbery or something and she's just got like a million different Ivies running all over the place? This cab is not supposed to be on the, the thing like that. I'm going to go ahead and go, uh, go give you a nice little tow, here. please. Go ahead and get this girl behind bars. She said she wants to confess. I'm not sure what she did, but uh, at least we got her. All right. Time to head back to the station. Good riddance, you filthy scoundrel. Enjoy your time in the, the slammer. When in Rome, might as well, uh, you know, issue another ticket right here. Let me just go ahead and uh, do that for the wrong direction. She actually might have been walking to the police station to turn herself in because we're about 80 meters away from the police station. Look at this. Six, 64 meters. It's literally right around this corner and she was walking that way. So you know what? I got to give it to her. I'm, I'm proud of her. All right. Might as well lose another two points right there. Not a big deal. I'm just going to leave this thing parked out front because I don't know if you boys could have a job anymore. Overall, I feel like we did pretty well. I can't go in. I really don't have a job anymore. Overall, I, I, I think we did pretty well. I, you know, little things just kind of start to add up here and there. And I, I feel like some of it's a little, a little BS. Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to call a tow truck on this guy. We'll just keep getting points, I guess. I don't know why it's not letting us in this police station. It's not the one we left from this morning, but uh, usually you don't have to. Well, I've tried to. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm driving too fast. Okay, might as well just blow through all of our points. I'm just gonna leave the car in the middle of the street. We're gonna lose so many points by the time we get back. I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna. We're gonna hit it on foot back.
This is the big boy main main like downtown precinct. If we aren't allowed in here, then I really think they they changed our gate. Code. Okay, no, we're we're allowed in. I was gonna say they changed our gate code. We're fired and we're we're done. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to um, which one's our desk? I forget. I thought it was one of these. Is it one of these? Is it one of the? There it is. That's our desk. I um I feel like we actually did pretty well there. You know, obviously the the, the conduct points. I mean. Thinking that girl had a fake ID, maybe that's not actually possible. That was kind of our, our biggest missed step. We had, a, you know, a few traffic violations as well. But over and some misclicks. Overall, I feel like we really handled it well. All of our stuff was very thorough. We, we actually did it like you were supposed to. And it looks like we unlocked the, the crime scene call out. So I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. We're going to be able to check out some crime scenes. Maybe do a little bit of detective work. Get a little promotion. And uh, I'll see you guys there.